Good morning, friends. I hope everyone is having a great day so far. We are going to go over Module 4, Lesson 2 today. Before we get started, make sure you have your paper and pencil or your whiteboard and marker so that you are ready to work with me. Let's get started. We're going to review some place value again. First, draw some place value disks to show 110 and 3 ones. Feel free to pause the video as you need to give yourself enough time to draw everything. Your place value chart should look like this. 110, 3 ones. What is the unit form that is shown on my place value chart? That's exactly right. 110, 3 ones. What is that number in standard form? Very good, 13. I want you to add two tens to your chart. Go ahead and draw those now. How many tens do we have now? We have three tens. Since we added 20 to 13, what did we find was 20 more than 13? Look at our place value chart if you need some help. 20 more than 13 is 33. We had 13 on our place value chart. We drew two more tens, which is 20 more, which gave us 33. Now add three tens to your chart. How many tens do we have now? We have six tens now. What is 30 more than 33? Remember, we just showed it on our place value chart. 30 more than 33 is 63. Let's say our number in unit form. Six tens, three ones. Let's see if we can figure out what is 40 less than 63. How do you think we can figure out what 40 less than 63 is? We can take away four tens from our place value chart. Let's do that now. One, two, three, four. We took away 40 from 63. What number are we left with? Very good, we're left with 23. Let's move on to find out how many more tens. 64 minus 44. How many more tens is 64 than 44? Remember, we want to look at the tens place. We see six tens in 64 and four tens in 44. We can ask ourselves, what is 6 minus 4? It's 2 tens. 6 tens minus 4 tens equals 2 tens. So 64 minus 44 equals 20. Let's say it in a sentence together. 64 is 20 more than 44. Let's try another one. 85 minus 45. Remember, we're looking at our tens place. We have eight tens and four tens. What is the difference between eight tens and four tens? If you notice, that's a doubles fact. Eight minus four equals four, so it would be four tens, which is 40. Let's say it in a sentence. 85 is 40 more than 45. 68 minus 38. How many more tens is 68 than 38? It's three more tens, which is 30. Let's say it in a sentence. 68 is 30 more than 38. 59 minus 49. How many more tens is 59 than 49? We have five tens minus four tens, which leaves us with one ten. 
Let's say it in a sentence. 59 is 10 more than 49. 47 minus 17. What is, how many more tens is four tens than one ten? It's three tens, which is 30. Let's say our sentence. 47 is 30 more than 17. Let's try this one. 99 minus 19. We see nine tens and one ten. How many more tens is nine tens than one ten? Very good, it's eight tens. So 99 minus 19 equals 80. Let's say our sentence together. 99 is 80 more than 19. Let's go ahead and begin our lesson. Great job reviewing, friends. How many do you see on this place value chart? We see 34. What is the say 10 way of 34? If we remember from a few weeks ago, the say 10 way is 3 tens 4. How many do you see now? 54. What about the say 10 way? Very good, 5 tens 4. I'm going to add two more tens. What do you think will happen to the number when I add two tens? My tens place is gonna change, right? Let's see, one, two. We had 54 and we added two tens, which is 20. And what did we end up with? We ended up with 74. 54 plus 20 equals 74. If I asked you to add three tens to 26, how could you solve that? We just saw that we could solve it using our place value chart. But let's learn two new ways to solve problems today. We touched on this yesterday. The arrow way. Think back to our problems yesterday where we worked with the arrow way. We're starting with 26 and we want to add three tens. We're gonna add those tens one at a time until we've added all three. I have 26 plus my first 10, which equals 36. Let's add our second 10. 36 plus 10 equals 46. We've added two tens, so let's add our third ten. 46 plus 10 equals 56. Do you see how we solved our problem using the arrow way? We added three tens to 26 using our arrows. Let's look at another way, our number bonds. Now, we touched on number bonds at the very beginning of the year. Let's see what we can remember about our number bonds. Again, we're using 26 plus 30. We want to break apart 26 to give us even tens and our ones. We have 20 and 6. 20 plus 6 equals 26. We no longer have that 26, so we can cross it out so we don't get confused later. We know that we want to add up 20, 30, and 6 to solve 26 plus 30. So let's start by adding our even tens, 20 and 30. Can you tell me what 20 plus 30 is? Very good, it is 50. Now that we've added our tens, we need to add those ones, those six ones. So we're gonna take that 50 that we made and add six. 50 plus six equals 56. 
So we know that 26 plus 30 equals 56. We used our number bonds to solve this problem. Let's look at another one. 25 plus 50. Let's do this one together. So write down our numbers as we go. We're starting with the arrow way. So let's start by writing our first number, 25. We want to add 50. How many tens is 50? Very good, 50 is five tens. So we want to add five tens to 25 using our arrows. Ready? 25 plus 10. Make sure you're drawing that plus 10 right over your arrow, just like on my screen. What is 25 plus 10? It is 35. Let's add our second 10. 35 plus 10 equals 45. Let's add our third 10. 45 plus 10 equals 55. Let's add our fourth 10. 55 plus 10 equals 65. Let's add our fifth and final 10. 65 plus 10 equals 75. So we found out that 25 plus 50 equals 75. We started with 25 and added 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 tens. Let's try it again, this time using our number bonds. Remember, the arrow way and number bonds are just strategies that we can use to solve our problems. Again, we're working with 25 plus 50. Which number can we break up into its tens and ones? Very good, we can break up 25. How many tens are in 25? We have two tens, which is 20, and we're left with five ones. We know that 20 plus five equals 25. Let's go ahead and cross out that 25 so we know that we no longer have five. five. Let's start by adding our tens together. 20 plus 50. Are you seeing where I'm getting these numbers from? We have 20 right here and 50 right here. Those are our even tens that we want to add together. What is 20 plus 50? It's 70, very good. Two tens plus five tens equals seven tens. What do we need to add to 70? Very good, we need to add those five ones. 70 plus five equals 75. That means that 25 plus 50 equals 75. Very good. Let's try another one. 38 plus 40. Make sure you're still writing these down with me. Let's do this one using the arrow way. 38 plus 40. How many tens do we have in 40? Very good. 40 is four tens. So, Let's add four tens to 38 using our arrow way. 38 plus 10 equals 48. 48 plus 10 equals 58. Let's add our third 10. 58 plus 10 equals 68. And let's go ahead and add that fourth 10. 68 plus 10 equals 78. We started with 38. We added 1, 2, 3, 4 tens and got to 78. Let's try it using our number bonds this time. We still have 38 plus 40. 
Which number can we break into its tens and ones? Very good, let's break up 38. How many tens and how many ones can we take from 38? We have three tens, which is 30, and eight ones. Go ahead and cross out that 38 because we no longer have it. We have 30 and eight. What should we add together first? Very good, let's add those even tens, 30 plus 40. What is three tens plus four tens? It's seven tens, very good. That is 70. What do we need to add to 70? We need to add eight. We already used our 30 and our 40 right here. So we still need to add those ones. What is 70 plus eight? Very good, it is 78. So 38 plus 40 equals 78. Great job. Let's try another one. 40 plus 27. We're going to start with our arrow way. Remember, we want to add our numbers the easiest way that we can. So for this one, we're going to start with 40, and we're going to add our tens first. How many tens are in 27? Two tens. So let's start by adding two tens using our arrows. 40 plus 10 equals 50. Let's add our second 10. 50 plus 10 equals 60. Very good. We've added our one, two tens from 27. What is still left of 27 that we need to add? We've already added 20, so we still need to add those seven ones. So using our arrows, we're gonna add our ones one at a time until we've added all seven ones. Ready? 60 plus one equals 61. 61 plus our second one is 62. 62 plus our third one is 63. 63 plus our fourth one is 64. 64 plus our fifth one is 65. 65 plus our sixth one is 66. And 66 plus our seventh one is 67. So that means that 40 plus 27 equals 67. See how we added our two tens and all seven ones to make up 27? Awesome job. Let's try it now with our number bonds. 40 plus 27. Which number can we break apart into its tens and ones? Very good, we can break up 27 into what two numbers? Exactly, 20 and 7. Which numbers should we add together first? That's exactly right, 40 plus 20. What is 4 tens plus 2 tens? Very good, it's 6 tens, which is 60. What do we still need to add to 60? We still need to add those seven ones. What is 60 plus seven? Very good, it's 67. That means 40 plus 27 equals 67. Great job, friends. Let's look at this place value chart. How many do you see? Very good, we see 74. What does this say 10 way? Yes, it is seven tens four. How many do you see now on our place value chart? 
Now we see 54. What's the say 10 way of 54? Exactly, 5 tens, 4. Good job. I'm going to subtract two more tens. What do you think will happen to the number when I subtract two tens? That's exactly right. Our tens place is going to change. Let's take away those two tens now. One, two. We had 54, and we took away two tens, which is 20. What are we left with on our place value chart? Very good, we're left with 34. So 54 minus 20 equals 34. If I asked you to subtract three tens from 56, how do you think you could solve that? We could use our place value chart like we just did, or we can use our arrow way and our number bonds like we did for addition. Let's see what that looks like together. Starting with our arrow way, we want to subtract three tens from 56. So we need to start with 56, and we're going to take away three tens. Make sure you're writing this down with me. 56 minus our first 10 equals 46. 46 minus our second 10 equals 36. And 36 minus our third 10 equals 26. Very good. See how we started with 56? We took away 1, 2, 3 tens. And we ended up with 26. Let's try it using our number bonds. 56 minus 30. Think back to our addition sentence. When we use number bonds with our addition sentences, which number did we break apart? We broke apart the number that had tens and ones. So which number do you think will break apart here? Very good, we'll break apart 56. What should we break 56 into? If we do it like our addition sentence, we're gonna break it into its tens and ones. 50 and six. Make sure you cross out that 56 so that you don't get confused with it later. Since we're subtracting this time, we're still gonna start with our tens and we're going to say 50 minus 30. What is 5 tens minus 3 tens? It's 2 tens, which is 20. Next, we need to add our ones. And I know that might sound kind of silly because this is a subtraction sentence. But we're going to subtract our tens and then add our ones. 20 plus 6 equals 26. Very good. So 56 minus 30 equals 26. Let's try 62 minus 40 using our arrow way. What number do we need to write down first? Very good, 62. And how many tens are we going to take away from 62? Yes, we're going to take away four tens because 40 is four tens. Let's do that together. 62 minus the first 10 is 52. Very good. 52 minus our second 10 is 42. 42 minus our third 10 equals 32. And 32 minus our fourth 10 is 22. So 62 minus 40 equals 22. We started with 62, and we took away 1, 2, 3, 4 tens. And that left us with 22. Let's try it using our number bonds this time. 62 minus 40. 
which number can we break into its tens and ones? Very good, 62. What is 62 going to be broken into? That's right, 60 and 2. Six tens, two ones. And let's cross out that 62 so we don't get it mixed up later. What do we need to subtract first? Our tens, that's right, 60 minus 40. What is six tens minus four tens? Two tens, very good, that is 20. Remember, even though this is a subtraction problem, we are going to add our ones. So we take this 20 that we just made and add our ones, which is two. What is 20 plus two? That's right, 22. So 62 minus 40 equals 22. Great job, friends. Let's try another one. 51 minus 20. Let's start with our arrow way again. What number do we need to write down first? That's right, 51. How many tens are we taking away from 51? We are taking away two tens. 51 minus our first 10 equals, very good, 41. 41 minus our second 10 equals, 31. We started with 51, took away one, two tens to make 20, and we ended with 31. So 51 minus 20 equals 31. Easy enough, right? Let's try it with our number bonds. 51 minus 20. What number can we break apart into its tens and ones? 51. What should we break 51 into? Very good, 50 and one. Because we have five tens and one one. Let's cross out that 51. And what do we need to subtract first? Yes, our tens, 50 minus 20. What is five tens minus two tens? Three tens, very good, that is 30. Remember, we want to add those ones that are left. So 30 plus one equals 31, very good. 51 minus 20 equals 31. Let's try one more together. 77 minus 30 using our arrow way. What number do we write down first? That's right, 77. How many tens are we taking away from 77? We're taking away three tens because three tens is 30. 77 minus our first 10 equals 67. 67 minus our second 10 is 57. And 57 minus our third 10 equals 47. We started with 77, took away our one, two, three tens, and ended with 47. 77 minus 30 equals 47. Let's try the same problem using number bonds. 77 minus 30. Which number can we break into its tens and ones? That's right, 77. And what tens and ones are we breaking 77 into? Very good, 70 and seven. What do we need to subtract first? 70 minus 30. What is seven tens minus three tens? Four tens or 40, very good. Remember, we want to add the ones that are left. 40 plus seven. What is 40 plus seven? 47, very good. So what is 77 minus 30? It's 47. 
Awesome job, friends. Remember, the number bonds and our arrow way are just strategies that we can use to help us solve problems. Make sure you bring your paper and pencil or your marker and whiteboard to your Zoom meeting so that you are ready to work on these problems together. Thanks, friends. Have a wonderful day.